Hello YouTube, um, this is a video about the Killzone Mercenary Beta. First thing I'd like to say is that I've only got one other gaming video on this channel. As you see here, I got the beta. Ugh. So if you feel like subbing to me because of this video, don't. Okay. The amount of stuff that you get right here on the beta, it's quite... It's limited and yet it's not. Okay, you got your career data right here, which has the leaderboards. It doesn't have anything on your player profile in TOT, L, Metal, Valor Collections, or anything of that nature. Career. I'll just say where you're at. And right now, I am at 7,325. That is what I'm ranked right now. I have 101 kills. Damn, yesterday I was ranked 4,500. So I need to start playing more. Okay. Campaign, you click that. Obviously, you're not going to get anything at all. Multiplayer. Load. Shit, I dropped down again. 7,054. Okay. That's all it has. Just your multiplayer stuff. Settings. It has all this stuff that you would expect for, well, settings in a multiplayer beta. Controls, whatever, whatnot. Multiplayer. You can join a friend, party match, arms dealer, start match. The only available thing that you have here, you don't have a private match, you just have public match, which is mercenary warfare and guerrilla warfare. Those aren't available. Just Warzone. Which is where they go through all the mini little bits. Hacking, interrogation, all that wonderful crap. The gameplay itself is just amazing. It's everything that I expected. However, there are a few problems. Now, my connection here isn't the greatest. However, me not having the greatest connection has led me to believe that there are problems with the connection in the game. Because I know exactly how the connection works with various different games. I played Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified on that Vita. Never had any problems with it. Unless my mom just said she wants to play Farmville. Soul Sacrifice? My mom can play Farmville, and I can play that. Nobody else doing anything. Me having my laptop off. Me just playing Killzone Mercenary. Yeah, I'll get kicked out due to loss of connectivity every 20, 30 minutes. I don't get to finish many games because of that. That's why I only have that many kills. 101 kills. Though the reality is, is uh, I have more than that, but because they don't save your stats after every map, after every, uh, if you ever get kicked out or anything like that, they don't save your stats, which I don't like. The amount of availability of weapons, you get a very wide array of stuff that you can have. I'm guessing that they decided that they wanted to put all these items so that you can tell whether or not there's animation fuck-ups that are enough. Each item glitches. So far, nothing. I've seen no animation issues at all. The only thing that I really have a problem with is one of the guns fires entirely way too fast. And I don't remember that gun being in any of the other Killzone games. And I've played them all. So they may want to tweak that if it's not. Okay. My only real issue is the connectivity kicking me out every 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, if I'm lucky, and there only being one map, that being Shoreline, but that's what you're going to get with a beta. Well, that and they don't save your stats if you get kicked out or something of that nature. Making thousands upon thousands of dollars and then getting kicked out on the last round of Warzone is not fun. It irritates the shit out of me. That being said, I'm quite glad that I pre-ordered Killzone Mercenary, and it should arrive at my house on the 10th. This is only the second game that I've ever pre-ordered in my life, but I imagine it's going to be great. Anyways, if you guys got any comments or questions about it, leave them in the description below. Also, if, you're, if you can't get access to the uh, Killzone beta, you need to be a PlayStation plus member right now, otherwise you're only going to have like two days of availability to it. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to the game itself, 
I'm hoping to God they fix the ma the uh, connection issues, and it's really just not me. Ugh. And it'd be really, really nice if they could somehow input, like, voice or some kind of communication so that you can talk to people. Anyways, have a nice day.